So the Shakiri Richardson saga continues. Follow up on, on my TikTok. Um, at this point, the situation reminds me of Mike Tyson, if those of you who are old enough remember, when Mike Tyson's original trainer died, he was starting to be managed by a new group. And the mindset was that he knocked the jokers out, he got the talent, he's strong, he gonna keep winning. And, and that's when he started to lose. Because at some point, that the talent, you could be talented, but if, if it's not managed properly, you're gonna see loss after loss. And that's what we're seeing with, to me with Shakari. There's too many talented professional women on the planet that should be able to sit her down and manage her, to get her into a management deal that harnesses her talent with her, her, her professional potential. Or else you, we look back in years later, uh, years forward and say, wow, that was such a blown opportunity. Um, her recent loss, to me, it is an individual who, who doesn't understand that, and those of you who've run track, that it is a science. And part of the science is, is to peak at the proper times. And I've seen her run some, some events that to me didn't make sense prior to the USA's against talent that, that truly wasn't going to make her better. And, and as a result, that's what we see. We're peaking at the wrong time. You can't peak for popularity and then expect to perform on the on the track against seasoned professional disciplined trained athletes it just doesn't happen same thing i flash back to the story of mike tyson at some point when when you just rely on your talent and, and you don't manage it well with with training properly eating sleeping getting up at the proper times that talent is not going to save you against a disciplined system you're going to meet your demise.